In this video demonstration, I'm going to show you how to create a cluster on Google Container Engine and list all of its nodes in, that are managed via Kubernetes. I'll show you how to create the cluster via the web GUI, the command line, and then via the, via the API, via code. So to be, I, I've already created a project, I created a default network, and I installed gcloud utility. So I will start with the web GUI. Pretty simple. We're gonna keep, keep all the defaults. It's gonna I'm gonna but I'm gonna call it demo one. And it's gonna create a cluster with three nodes. Create and then I'm gonna create a via the command line. I'm gonna create another cluster called demo2 and then while those are being created I'll show you give you a demonstration I'll walk you through the code so this is go lang code that uses the container engine API that's generated as well as the kubernetes API that's generated and it uses those to it's going to you in this project, ctiger.com, in this particular zone, uh, data center from Google, I'm going to create a cluster called demo3. So I'm going to create a new container client, which is going to create the cluster. It's going to wait for the cluster to be provisioned. And then I'm going to get, using the cluster information that's returned, which will include the certificates, the username and password, I'm going to create a Kubernetes client. And with the Kubernetes client, I'm going to list all the nodes. So to run this, and I'll start, that, start this off um, now. I'm using Visual Studio Code with the Go plugin, and I just have to hit play. And it's going to pop up in this window, and it will print off information at the end listing all of, listing all of the nodes. So here if we refresh in the in the UI we should see the progress. So all three clusters are being created currently. And the, while that's happening, I will give you a walkthrough of the code. So this is just creating the container engine uh, HTTP client. Uh, this is creating the cluster with a given name and an initial node count. Uh, you could you could pass in a bunch of options to the create cluster request if you wished. Um, the wait for cluster provisioning. All it does is it gets the cluster and then checks to see if the status is provisioning or running and uh, when it's running it returns. The new Kubernetes client, this was the hard part. So this is um, the container engine returns the a client certificate, a client key, and a certificate of, uh, authority certificate and you can from there I create um, I created TLS client config uh, using using those bytes and uh, also the username and password and then I'm able to create a new Kubernetes client using basically that security uh, this is also the IP address for the endpoint and when you pass in the TLS config it guarantees that it's on uh, HTTPS, that it's secure. Uh, when I, after I show how to list the nodes, and um, I will come back and run this again, and we can, uh, I can show you how to debug via the a proxy, um, how to, with, um, man in the middle, M, um, man in the middle proxy. So you basically just uncomment this line and then comment out this line. And as well as uncomment this line. 
that will allow, you, allow us to see all the web calls being going back and forth. All right, so the demo one's created, been created, demo two is created, so let's connect to demo one, and I'm going to list off the nodes via the, the web user interface. So we'll connect to it. So the gcloud command, we can uh, basically pass the credentials to what that does is it, here, I'll do it again. So it basically just puts the credentials in here. So this, this is, these are the cr credentials uh, that are being stored in the Kubernetes, um, Kubernetes command line uh, configuration file. So that allows us to um, that allows us to, for for example, run the Kubernetes proxy to launch the Kubernetes uh, web user interface. So now you can see. Um, We don't have much here, but we can take a look at the nodes. There's these are the three nodes uh, that are a part of the cluster, and, and we're viewing this from the web GUI. Um, so that was demonstration number one, and these are the pods that are inside of inside of that node or running on that node. Those pods are uh, a part of the uh, cube system namespace. So they're not stuff I've started on it, it's just a part of the Kubernetes um, system. So that was demo number one. Demo number two is we're going to list the nodes from the um, so let's switch over to Uh, the cluster for demo two, and then we can say cube control get nodes. So those are all the nodes for the uh, cluster number two, all right? And then um, the demo three finished provisioning, and it's the uh, the list nodes function printed off for each one of the nodes using the Kubernetes client. Uh, it listed off all the nodes. So I've now demonstrated how to list all the nodes in the GUI via the command line and via, then via the API. So the last step is to that I wanted to show was how to debug this thing. Um, So we start the proxy and let's run this. Let's make this the fourth demo. We're going to create a cluster named demo four and we're going to, um, we're going to enable the proxy here, but in addition to that, We need to uh, get rid of the SSL certificate here and certificate check and let them know that it, the, uh, the client can be insecure and it's okay. So with that saved, let's run it. Sorry, it stopped. Let's run it.
you know, I currently have a quota. So, um, but you can see here that the proxy is working. Um, and you'll see the, uh, the 403 response. So, I can tab over to it and you can see that the, uh, the response from, from Google was that I had a quota and I was using too much of it. As soon as these uh, other two demos stop, I should be able to, I can also, well, let's see, I can also change the node count to one. And let's run it again. Oh, the limit was three clusters. Okay. So I do have to wait for these to finish. And then I'll give you the last demonstration of this video. The cluster is being deleted. While it's being deleted, um, I do everything is building uh, via the on Travis CI. So there's just an install and a build. The build script super simple. It's just build, and it's pa you're passing the name of the executable that needs to be built from the main.go, and the install is just uh, it should actually be a little bit more than that. Get um, yeah, there you go. So the, the install, these are all the dependencies that allow it to build. All right, so that's done. Let's run it again and let's see all the calls. So here you can just press up and press down. You can, this, this is where it's sitting in a loop for five seconds and seeing if the cluster has been created or not. This is where it was uh, trying to create the cluster. So you can see that uh, the JSON is pretty simple and the response is pretty simple. Um, but it's a really, really useful tool when you're debugging uh, web APIs. The other thing I think I wish to show is just uh, debugging in general um, in, in Visual Studio Code is quite awesome. So here let's create a cluster named 4 or 5 and put a breakpoint So here's a breakpoint, and Anyway, you can hit breakpoints, inspect variables. It's really neat. And uh, that's it for the demo. I just So to wrap up, I um, showed how to uh, create a cluster and list the nodes via the web. 
via the console app and um, via the API. Thanks, bye.